Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're going to go over this specialty paint from Krylon. It's the No Hunting Purple. Is it a gimmick? Let's find out. Let's get this thing started. Road Hard Roadhouse is sponsored by Finley River Towing and Speedy's Industrial Coatings, Nozark, Missouri. Speedy's does all your media blasting and powder coating. Big or small, they do it all. Finley River Towing takes care of all your high-end to low-end towing needs. Call Finley River Towing if you're in the Ozark or Branson area. Tell them the Road Hard Roadhouse sent you. Okay, today, Krylon, the No Hunting Purple. Let's see what part number it is. It's No Hunting Purple, part number 2510, No Hunting Purple. This is probably one of the most used colors outside in the country. If you've seen any fence posts that have this on it, it means you're not supposed to hunt inside of it. So let's see how well this works on some wood first because I know that this is going to be outside. A lot of people spray paint this stuff on trees, on wood posts. So let's try with the wood first. And in all my hunt, in all my videos that I do on spray paint, what I do is I go ahead and spray paint it three coats, let it dry and show you the cap, um, see if it matches. And then in one week, I'll do the same thing. I'll show you the video um, in the same video. I'll show you what it looks like um, after one week with the cap see if it matches and then I'll produce the video and then in one year I'll come back and I'll show you if the paint Matches the cap after one year of being outside. So that's what I do in all my videos Let's see how well this purple works on wood Going on really thin at first to see in all my videos. I let you know that wood does soak up quite a bit of paint So you got to let take that into account This wood is not really the greatest Wood on earth and you want this stuff to last because you don't want to have to do this every single year If you're in the farming community or if you're out in the woods, you know people on your property Now, I put this on like dangerously thick. I don't even see it running. So that's that's a good sign. So let's go over to the metal and uh, so where you spray paint this on your metal fence post. All right. Ah, it started running a little bit. I'll put three coats of this on there. See how well it works. It is running right now. I'm not sure if that's exactly my fault or the fault of the paint. But I'll let it dry and I'll put another coat. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a uh, view here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my own property fence line with this. And see how it works in real life. Not just on some wood or stuff that I metal hood that I use for other projects I'm gonna give you a real life view here got a tree and I got a post here it is going on thin All right, more wood. Post.
not exactly happy with how it's going on it's going on really thin i'm hoping this isn't a gimmick just to get a bunch of farmers to uh farmers and uh landowners to buy this stuff we'll see how it dries Just some sun there, maybe not. Okay, so how did the Krylon specialty here, no hunting paint, work as far as going on wood? Well, it's not the same color as the cap by quite a this is more of a plum but you know this is going to work as far as your no hunting thing but it's not the same color as the cap um it did go on all right on this i did have to put about three only three coats on this and you'll see how it worked on my metal posts soon too but uh when it went on wood it went on okay when it went on metal it went on thin so we'll see what it looks like in a week let's go to see what the metal looks like right now okay there's the cap maybe it got a little bit closer to the cap as far as the metal versus the color of the cap it's a little bit closer not quite the same but it is closer and it went on really thin i had to back up quite a ways in order to spray it to where it would not run okay this is the krylon no hunting purple that uh i saw this and i was like is this a gimmick because uh i was wondering i was just wondering if this was a gimmick or not um well it's got the color here is more like a plum and this color here is more like a it is the purple and it has maybe just a hint of a glaze it's not really a uh a shine what to it at all which it doesn't matter this is going on trees and fence posts so let's go see what it looks like on the metal hood after one week and then i'm going to get take you out to the fence post and the trees that i actually did once again it doesn't really match the cap on the metal hood um, it does have a, a a good color and a um a slick finish to it but it does not match the cap so this is the no hunting of uh, krylon and the uh number to it is two five one zero no hunting purple two five one zero no hunting purple well, I will say that out here on this tree where everything's all rough and everything, it is a little bit closer to the color of the cap than it was on anything uh, like a flat surface or whatever. But uh, this is after one week outside. Let me go show you some of the fence posts. Well, I'm pretty close. Not bad when it's sprayed out here in the elements. So it's pretty close to this cap out here. Let's see how long it lasts. Like I do in all my videos, I'll uh, video this again in one year to show you how well it's lasted outside. Let me know down in the comments whether or not you think it is worth it or not. Or do you just get one gallon of paint of this sucker and then just uh, brush it on? It's all up to how much land you own and what you think. Let's just... So what did y'all think of the Krylon Specialties No Honey Purple Paint? Did it work for you? Does it look like it worked for you? Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and as always, if you ride her hard, don't put her away wet.